Welcome back, ladies and gents. Welcome back. Happy Tuesday morning to you. Boy, a lot better personality to the market uh, this morning here. Monday was a little bit slow and sloppy. We had a great day on Monday. Here we are now, Tuesday morning. It's just after lunch, about 12.30 Eastern time right now. And let's talk about what we went over this morning. Now, like I said yesterday, every morning we begin our morning with a formal morning prep. Now, if you're not a member with me, you can still trade right along with this on our blog. So I would highly encourage you to follow the blog. The blog address is over here at sidewaysmarkets.com. It's relatively easy to find, right? So Sideways Markets. And then down on the right-hand side here, you're going to see if you scroll down a little bit, there's a section that allows you to join the site. You can also join our newsletter because our newsletter will also send out to you each morning before 8 a.m. Eastern time. I'm going to start working on that morning prep. Now, the morning prep each morning, as I said before, it's a formal prep, which means we have a specific checklist we're following. We have a specific formula that we're going to use on the morning prep. Now, let's take a look at what we had projected earlier this morning. Now, remember, professional traders, we don't predict. We react. So I come into my desk this morning, 7 a.m., 7.30 a.m. Eastern time, which is relatively early here in Los Angeles, and we start looking at charts. The first thing we looked at this morning was the euro. And you're going to see here this euro, this was posted right at 8 o'clock this morning. And on the euro, what did we say was our plan this morning? Because, guys, I'll tell you right now, I've been doing this for over 12 years now. It'll be 13 years this December. And I've learned one key secret. I need to plan my trades and then trade my plan. Guys, if you're not making money in your trading right now, it's probably because you're failing to do one or the other. If you're not planning your trades, then how, can you, then how can you trade your plan? And if you're planning your trades and not following that plan, well, that's even worse. So let's take a look at what did the euro tell us that we were going to be doing this morning. Again, this was posted this morning before we even took the first trade of the morning this morning. Our day trading plan is to buy the lows of the price channel. Buy the lows of the price channel. And I even include a chart. You can see the charts up here as well. That's right. No membership needed to be on this. You guys see where I'm going with this right now. There's your channel. We see the bull channel. This was right on our radar this morning. We wanted to buy the lows of this bull channel. So the first thing we did was opened up our charts, found that bull channel, and we started buying. Now, the euro actually gave us a few different opportunities this morning because check out the London session, check out the overnight session. Here's the five-minute chart of the euro. And we had another chart that we gave you this morning. So first clue on the euro, buy the channel lows. What do you think? Here's that channel again from the euro. There's your buy right there. So we, of course, had an easy pickings this morning on the euro, following exactly the plan that we had set forth at 7.45, 8 a.m. this morning. So first things first, our plan was to buy the lows of the euro. We did just that, made a great profit on it. Second thing is, remember these levels? These are levels that we go over every morning with Marty, Traders Audio for crude oil. Did you know we apply the same technique to the euro, gold, I'll even apply the same technique of analyzing overnight to the Russell, to the S&P. I know, who would have thought you could use the E-minis the same way you use commodities and currencies, right? But it all works. Look at the trading opportunities that we provided to our members this morning. What do you see here? Now, remember, we want to plan for price going higher and price going lower. On the euro, we bury into the reversal zone. We go into the daily reversal and we make the reversal. As you can see here, there's your first winning buy. We then buy the pullback, second winning buy. I took my profit all the way up at the top of this thing, all the way at the reversal zone, and then look what happens. It fails to close and collapses right back down in. Guys, I'm sorry, but we put this information up before our first trade of the morning, gave everybody clear direction. We were looking to buy pullbacks as price rises, even if you miss this easy money reversal here, you still had that pullback to buy to get in long. Easy money being made today on the euro. Now, don't worry. If you saw that post this morning and you weren't able to make money from it, come out and join me. Come out and join me as a free trial member. Come see me in the trade room for our orientation in the afternoons. Come join me as a member and I'll show you how to profit from these. 
I plan my trades and today all we had to do was trade the plan as you can see getting long at these lows on the euro it's as easy is as easy as falling off a horse that was the euro this morning what happened on crude oil again let's go back to the blog crude oil futures I'll bet we talked about those too didn't we so we predicted the euro very very well three easy winning trades on the euro today and that didn't even include that short that happened about an hour and a half ago next let's go take a look at crude oil crude oil again same spot it's posted right on the blog anybody can go check it out easy to find sidewaysmarkets.com now what did we see on crude click on this little bad boy click on that image right there and that will take you over to the crude oil squawk page now guys we are just about to roll out a full product for with traders audio Marty and I will be doing these broadcasts every morning and we'll be sending these out to the general public we've been in beta we've been trying to figure out the schedule on this but we're looking pretty good now so we should be we should be talking more about this uh, this morning broadcast for crude oil very soon bottom line is scroll on down what do you see here I've got two charts that I gave you guys this morning two charts the first chart I gave you was a 60 minute chart second chart I gave you was a five minute chart let's see what we decided to do this morning on crude again before we took our first trade this morning this was done at 730 this morning Eastern time right 730 did that give you enough time to get into that first trade at nine o'clock I hope so and don't forget if you're a member of mine we traded all of this together this morning okay so I'm gonna give you exactly what to do each morning but I'm gonna take it one step further and I'm gonna demonstrate how I trade that direction right in front of you in our live trade room first of all the first clue we saw here this morning was we saw a bull price channel right the bull price channel told us we want to be buying the lows of the wedge so the first thing we said this morning was we're gonna buy the wedge lows and I'm sure many of you probably thought nah no way this price action is bearish this morning this ain't gonna stop at those wedge lows where was the price wedge we'll take a look at that in a second the second thing we said here on the five-minute chart first thing we said was buy those wedge lows the second thing we did was we used this five-minute chart to tell us to buy the reversal zones right to buy the reversal zones so we had two reasons to be bullish this morning on crude oil first buy the wedge lows second buy the reversal zones again don't take my word for it guys you can't believe everything you see on television these days go right over to the blog sideways markets click on that link for crude oil and take a look for yourself you'll see for yourself those charts were posted well before we got that trade out this morning and it just goes to show you how effective our prep is and again I'm gonna teach you how to take all these trades with me every day together once again here's that here's that 60 minute chart on crude and what do we see happened here hmm we definitely had to be patient but as you can see there's my price wedge price wedge is broken I told everybody this morning in the room gotta be gotta be patient we're gonna see this thing come back up sure enough it comes back up I'm buying pullbacks every step of the way as it goes higher we knew we knew we had those sellers beat when we saw that big wick here on this 60 minute chart that big wick gave us all the information we needed first clue we saw this morning was the bull channel we used the lows of that price wedge to buy the lows guys it doesn't get much easier than that that was just one of the ways we profited from our morning prep this morning the second way we profit from the morning prep and this was just a little bit too easy remember this morning on the broadcast with crude oil futures we talked about that trend line we talked about that daily support level guys it doesn't get much easier than this we've got 9429 9402 we knew we had gone through the reversal zone and then BAM we blow right through it into that daily support and once we started coming out of that we knew now is a time to be a buyer it helped out a little bit the dollar was dropping lower as well but again we used that trend line here that trend line was all we needed for our final target and we told everybody that well ahead of time this morning in the morning prep as well so we knew that once we saw that thing reverse we were going to be buying pullbacks one two and of course this was easy money on crude oil here once we found that reversal that was the key once we found the reversal we can't just guess we can't just predict 
So, boy, we're looking pretty good. Euro, we bought the lows. Crude oil, we bought the lows today. It doesn't matter what you used, whether you used a five-minute or a 60-minute chart. We made money on both the euro and crude today. What about gold? As we always say in the trade room, the ladies, you guys can keep the diamonds. Us traders, we'll take the, we'll take the gold all day long. Here's your gold. And again, don't take my word for it here, guys. Go right to the blog, and you'll see for yourself exactly what we had anticipated today. Open up the gold chart. What do we see? I love it when I see a double top. Double tops, we trade double tops differently than anybody else I've ever seen before. Most people use double tops as selling opportunities, not this guy. I'm going to use double top as a buying opportunity. And I found double top levels of support here at 1366 and 1349. You're going to see this is going to get really sloppy here right now, but gold was an easy to buy. We called it this morning. We called it before we took our first trade. We were bullish on the gold. Now, let's see if we can use the same technique as we used on euro and for crude oil. Can we trade the same technique on gold? Absolutely, we can. I'll bet you guys thought I was just fooling you when I said this is a universal system that works on any market, any time frame. Guys, why would you learn a system that only works on the S&P? It doesn't make any sense. I can't pay my mortgage, right? I can't pay the mortgage with an IOU saying, sorry, but I didn't get a setup today. I need to trade whatever the market gives me. If you're treating this business like a business, I've got to be able to make revenue every day that I trade. What do we see here on gold? The same thing. Buy that reversal zone. You're going to see here a test of that reversal zone. Once we saw the test of this reversal zone, and yes, that's the same reversal zone that we bought on crude. That's the same reversal zone we bought on euro. It's all the same, ladies and gents. We're buying pullbacks once we see that bounce off the reversal zone that was an easy one today and if you recall we projected a target on this up at the symmetry reversal zone this was incredible we literally went right to the tick of our symmetry price reversal level now symmetry price moves in both time and price symmetry this was a price symmetrical move we called that a mile ahead of time Obviously, we made money here buying the lows. Now we're sitting on top of this previous low of day, and we're going to be taking those hands and sitting on them now here on gold. We want to be very careful when we see a test of the previous low of day that sticks like this. So again, same technique. We did the same thing every single time here, guys. And again, we bounce off that reversal zone, and there's your chance to get long once again. You'll also see here, once we open up the 60-minute chart on gold, again, the guidance that I provided you was to be looking to buy on gold. And what do we see here? Price test at 1366, just as, just as we had predicted. We see a bounce followed by pullback trades on the way up. Guys, it was relatively easy here this morning. I gave you guys a direction. I told you exactly where to be looking. All you had to do was use our entry trigger indicators, Buy those pullbacks, sell those, sell those retracements. Today, we're buying pullbacks left and right. And then the Russell. The Russell was another great opportunity for us today. Again, same technique we always use. Russell breaks out of its range. When it breaks out of its range, all we're going to do is we're going to wait for one of these reversal levels to hold. It holds at the previous low of day. Once we see one of these levels hold, then we know we've got those sellers beat and we're buying pullbacks. One buying pullbacks too, all the way up. So we use the same technique that we use to buy the lows on the euro, the same technique we use to buy the lows on the, on the gold, to buy the crude oil this morning. It's the same thing on the Russell. Now here was the best. Here was the best part about the Russell today. Again, maybe, maybe we thought that we couldn't be accurate on the E-mini this morning. Let's go back to the blog. Again, don't take my word for it, guys. We put it right here. We put it here before we took our first trade on the Russell this morning. Now, the Russell I'm going to post a little bit later on in the morning because the Russell won't open up until 9.30. We're busy making money other places. We'll, we'll get the Russell going before 9 o'clock each morning. Take a, look at, take a look at the plan here, though, that we defined on the post on the blog this morning for the Russell. What's our plan? What's our plan here? If prices move lower, we will look for a price reversal at support levels. 977, 974, 973, okay? We want to buy at support levels below us. Buy at support levels below us. Hmm, I wonder what happened on the Russell. 
Well, the chart that we posted before the, before the price moved lower was right here. We knew on the Russell this morning that we were stuck in the mud. We needed to get down here so we could buy it. That was my guidance. Let's see what actually happened. Don't forget that number, 977 even, 973.3. Again, don't forget that number. I gave that to you at 9 o'clock this morning. Let's see if we actually had any value in that. Let's see if there's any value in our morning prep. Uh, well, I'll let you be the judge on this one, guys. I told you guys to buy the 977 and the 973. I told everybody to be patient, to wait for price to tumble down into the lows. Hmm. Now, you know, I didn't get straight A's in school. In fact, I cut class probably more often than I probably should have. I definitely didn't pay attention in my business classes. I paid more attention in gym class. But I'm going to go ahead and say right there that that's a pretty darn easy winner there. Now, again, I'm not putting a buy limit here. I'm not, I'm not guessing that it's going to bounce, okay? That would be a little bit too premature. What I will do, though, is, is once I start to see that price moving higher, buying pullbacks, buying pullbacks, buying pullbacks, and like I said in the morning prep this morning, that final target is all the way back up at the highs. And to think people always ask me, Joe, how are you able to be one of the only longest running educational resources online? Check around, guys. There are not many long-term traders that teach online. And I get that question quite a bit. How do you stick around so long? Why are your students thought to be the most prepared every day? It's because of our morning prep, guys. And that morning prep is posted every morning before we take our first trade each morning. Now, again, don't take my word for it. Sign up for the newsletter. Join the free trial. Okay, follow the blog. Trust me on this, guys. I'm not going to disappoint you. I've been doing this a little, a little bit shy of 13 years now. I got a few tricks up my sleeve. Guys, as always, great, great day in the live trade room today. I love seeing members finally having those light bulbs go off. I love getting the reports back that all my students have to do is use that morning prep every morning, follow the plan that I give them, and then, of course, ask lots of questions in our trainings. We do trainings every day, Monday through Friday at 11 o'clock, guys. If you're treating your trading business as a business, you've got to protect capital at all times. You've got to be consistent. You've got to make sure that you're always improving. That's my style here at School of Trade. I hope you guys agree, and I hope you guys enjoyed our, our recap today. We're just getting started here for the week. It's only Tuesday. We'll see you guys here this time tomorrow. We'll see you in about 23 hours from now. Adios, amigos. Bye-bye for now.